Hello everyone. So, uh, for this video onwards, we are uh, about to start a new topic, um, necklace. All right. So, what are necklaces? So, necklaces are basically linear or uh, sequential data structures in which elements are stored at uh, non-contiguous -cont memory locations and are linked to each other using pointers. Okay. So, like um, arrays, linkless are also linear data structures. But as I told you before, also, but uh, that linkless elements are not stored at contiguous memory locations. Okay, they can be stored anywhere in the memory, uh, but for sequential access, the nodes are linked to each other using pointer. Okay. Um, now, uh, if you recall, I already told you that uh, about contiguous memory locations. Suppose uh, this is our array. Um, suppose this is our sum of of an array and there is our some of its element here okay and suppose the memory of this uh, first element is uh, 2000 okay then the uh, memory of the second element is going to be 2004 suppose if the data types are integers and the next element memory would be 2008 that means the uh, memories of all the elements of our arrays are basically conti uh, continuous like 2000, 2004, 2008 and etc. But this is not the case in uh, linked list. Suppose this is one of the element of linked list. It's um, uh, so memory location is suppose 2000 and then there is another linked list, linked list element whose uh, what do we say? Uh, memory location is suppose uh, 4000, and uh, there is another memory location 6000 or something. But all these are linked. Okay, 2000 memory is linked with this one. This is linked with this one. Now you might be wondering how these um, elements are linked without having a contiguous memory locations. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let me first off. All clear the screen. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, suppose let's okay. Uh, let's talk about link list. Like, how does a link list looks like? Alright. So a link list basically contains two parts. One is data. Alright. Another is pointer. So suppose and data plus pointer consists of a linked list node. So this is a node. This is a node. This is also a node. And uh, this is also a node. All right. Now what happens in a node is that every node of linked list contains um, two um, elements or like two parts one is data right and one is pointer so what is the data in a linked list so data inside a linked list is what we store inside it all right this part basically stores the data or the value of the node information to be stored at the current node all right and there is this pointer. So what a pointer a node consists is it consists of the uh, memory memory address of the next node. All right. Suppose the memory address of this uh, first element is two thousand. Another element is four thousand. Another element is six thousand. Another element is seven thousand. So the pointer of this of first element would be containing memory address of this one of 4000. So this is inter like this is these are linked. And here is also data and pointer. The pointer of this element would be containing a memory of 6000. These are linked. Then 6000 be containing 7000. So these are linked. All right. This is how the linking of um, data works. So now uh, we talked about what are linear, what are uh, linked list, and 
how does the linked list look like and what are its two parts alright but you might be wondering like why do we need a linked list like array was also like nice why do we like what is the need of a linked list okay so there are certain problems with our arrays okay now let me clear the screen a little bit yeah yeah so i was saying that there was a problem in the arrays these problems uh, let's discuss them so the first problem is the uh, size of the arrays is fixed all right suppose um, you are given a task of making a um, a data a data sheet of a college all right and like every data sheet of a student contains its uh, personal information and suppose the college says that it is going to take uh, 4000 students all right so you are going to make 4000 uh, you know memories but suppose but it is not necessary that 4000 admissions would come so there would be a wastage of data suppose only 2000 students come then what will be uh, wasting the data part like and if you make the data of 2000 students and suppose 2500 students come then Your your uh, like your data sheet would be destroyed. So, but this does not happen in our uh, linked list because linked lists are basically dynamic. Because see, there are two thousand linked lists are connected to each other, and if I want to add a new linked list, I just simply make a new linked list, add a data and a pointer to it, and I point the Pointer of the last data in my original linked list to this element. All right. And other thing is that inserting a new element in an array is expensive. Because see, the room has to be like created for the new elements, and to create room, existing elements have to shift. Suppose this is my array of like suppose five elements. And here are data one, two, four, five, and six. Now, if I am given a task to insert element three here, what am I like? What will be the procedure? I am going to shift elements from four to six. First of all, at and I have to make a new space. I'll shift the elements one by one from four to six here, and then this space would be cleared, and then I'll put three here. So this task is expensive, but what I can do in linked list is This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is one. This is two. And this is four. This is five. And this is my element three. Now what would I do? I simply point this this uh, four uh, element pointer to three. I'll point the pointer of uh, three to five. It's as easy as that, right? So like this is the like main advantages of linked list over arrays. All right, and the other thing like we discuss the advantages of arrays, advantages of linked list here. Now time to discuss the disadvantages of linked list. Okay. First of all, random access is not allowed. You have to go sequentially in a linked list. Like one, two, three, four, and back. Yes, like that. Meaning you cannot use binary search and stuff in uh, linked list, which we, which we can use in array. Okay. And other thing is extra space for pointer is required in each element of the list. Pointer doesn't like require lot of space, but still, if there are like thousand or ten thousand pointers, ten thousand elements in a list, so you need a ten thousand pointers also. So it is a big thing, right? And And yeah, that's I guess that's it for the introductory video of linked list. And since we completed the array part, and like we included the array part in the last video, and yeah, that's it for this introductory video. And we'll talk more about linked list and implementation of it in the next video. So thank you for joining today, and see you later.